just mounted some PVC pipe uh, onto the jig and you just adjust it. This is just a piece of wood and there is another piece of wood that I cut out with a circle cutter attached to the step motor with a simple brass collar. Something just fell over there, not sure what. Um, what I did, I don't know if you can see that, I drilled two holes into the PVC pipe and I'm going to thread the wire through that and start. Okay, so I've actually started to wind the coil now. Uh, you can see it got a little bit of a build up there. One of the problems that I'm having actually is the spool has unraveled over time so the actual tension that's being maintained sometimes slips, just got to be aware of that. Um, but it's actually coming along nicely. One of the things that I found which is really cool, Electronic Goldmine were selling these things um, and I believe that they come from old exercise equipment and what they do is uh, they count the number of repetitions that someone's doing on whatever the exercise equipment was but the good thing is as they turn over they actually count. So, if you need to put a precise number of turns on a coil, you can just attach this using tape to the actual coil form, and then as it goes round and round, it will actually count the number of turns that you're putting on the coil. But for this coil, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put about maybe six inches of uh, turns on it, because I don't really mind too much about the, the actual number of turns, I just need a coil of roughly that size, and then we can tune it later. We're now going to finish it off by uh, spraying some spirurethane onto the coil. As you can see here, I've got it set up with some masking going on. Um, it's probably better to brush this stuff on, but just for speed, I'm going to use the uh, spray version. Just keep it spinning for a while, just while it dries. Now the reason that I've left some of the masking tape on here in that line is that we're going to uh, eventually sand away some of the insulation because this needs to be a tunable coil. Uh, but normally if I was building a regular Tesla coil I wouldn't have that on there and I would seal the whole thing. <laughs> 